It was a friendship between a prince and a bishop from 25 years ago that was being examined in detail today. Prince Charles and Peter Ball, a former bishop of Gloucester. We now turn to the letter from His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales. Prince Charles submitted a witness statement to the official inquiry into child abuse. He wrote today that he did not know and could not have known at the time that Ball was a sex offender. Any message for the victim? Well, I'm always very, very, very sorry. In 2015, Ball was jailed for abusing 18 men and boys. The prince said to the inquiry that at no point did he make representations on Ball's behalf but he did write of his sorrow that he was so badly misled. It remains a source of deep personal regret that I was one of many who were deceived over a long period of time about the true nature of Mr Ball's activities. People like me, as you can see, are not saints. The prince maintained in the 1990s he did not know what Ball had been accused of, but the two men exchanged letters which were read to the inquiry. In one, Charles wrote this of the accuser. I can't bear it that the frightful, terrifying man is on the loose again and doing his worst. I'll see off this horrid man if he tries anything again. It's clearly very embarrassing. Philip Johnson was one of those who made allegations against Peter Ball, but he has questions for Prince Charles, who did not know for 15 years that Ball was given a police caution for his offences in 1993. You know, Peter Ball had admitted his guilt. He had accepted a caution which requires a, a clear admission of guilt. And do you think someone as well read as Prince Charles, should he have known that a caution comes with it and admission of guilt? You would have thought so. It was the closeness of the relationship between the Prince of Wales and Peter Ball that took many by surprise here today. But as the Prince acknowledged in his statement, in the 1990s, bishops were people who were worthy of trust and confidence, who could be taken at their word. Prince Charles took Peter Ball at his word. It's now clear he shouldn't have. Chris Shipp, ITV News.